What up, what up, it's Dana and in this video I'm going to be telling you why you should be eating healthier foods, high quality proteins, carbs or fats over the dirty Congo food or so the junk food. And a lot of my videos are actually saying uh, don't really worry about the quality of food all the time and the reason being I say this is because some skinny guys, some hard gainers really do struggle to get the calories in right and that's probably the only way they're going to get that amount of calories in as most junk foods, let's face it, are more convenient than most healthy foods right. Unless you eat some nuts. No homo. So anyway, um, yeah, here's why you need to eat more high quality foods over low quality foods, right? So first of all, you need to understand that a chocolate bar has protein in it, right? Probably 0.1 grams, whereas a piece of chicken has, say, I don't know, 20 grams, 30 grams of protein in it, right? So obviously you're going to pick the one of highest protein, but not just that, right? It's about the essential amino acid profile, right? So the amino acid profile. And what I mean by this is, there are essential amino acids and then there are normal amino acids, right? So unessential amino acids, if that's what you want to call it. So I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, right? So basically the essential amino acids are the ones we really need and the ones that our body do not make, right? For example, leucine is an essential amino acid that our body does not make. And from a protein bar to get 0.1 grams of protein compared to a chicken breast, you know the difference, right? There's a lot. The amino acid profile it's definitely going to be incomplete on a protein bar compared to the chicken breast, right? Some really good complete proteins are especially whey, right? And that's why there's whey protein shakes, like, makes sense, right? Um, eggs, uh, chickens one, there are a few that are really, really good. I'll try and remember if I list them on the screen or it doesn't really matter. You can research it if you really want. But basically what I'm trying to tell you is just pick the higher quality food options, especially when it comes to protein right now. When it comes to carbs as well it does kind of matter because if you just eat simple sugars like but that doesn't really make sense as well right you need to understand that when people say oh he's eating simple sugars all the time shit like this well yeah because he can be eating bananas fruits still healthy foods because they're still simple sugars right so just keep in mind that but i'm saying complex carbs they do keep your like blood sugar levels a little bit steady throughout the day right because if you keep spiking them and the drops spiking them and the drops all the time it's just going to go all wrong so and just general health right it's not really all about the the blood glucose too much it's just about health really when it comes to carbohydrates and also keeping your gut healthy right because complex carb carbohydrates do play a part and fiber is kind of a, a link off to i don't know we could say carbohydrates right so that fiber does keep your gut healthy and that allows you to have a shit so <laughs> so anyway now fats right why do you need to eat more healthy fats than like let's say uh, unsaturated fats, or sh no, sorry, sat saturated fats, or even monosaturated fats, or fun and junk food and shit like this. So basically, why should you eat say peanut butter over junk food? Here's why. Actually, dietary fat and healthy fats. I think it was polyunsaturated fats or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but just let's call it healthy fats, right? It actually correlates to increase of protein synthesis, and then you know what that means. You already know increase in anabolism basically means building muscle right so catabolism is breaking down muscle anabolism building muscle so that's exactly why you need to be eating these healthy foods in your diet right that's also why i don't recommend people do dirty bulking right they are getting they are getting a lot of calories in right so they are of course getting some muscle but they're getting way more fat and they're not maximizing their muscle growth because they're not getting the complete proteins they're not getting the healthy fats to increase anabolism and they're not getting the fiber and carbs and all this kind of good shit so that's basically why you should be eating healthy foods over unhealthy foods and i know i have said in some of my videos i do recommend junk food but like i said at the start of the video there are some exceptions and one thing to mention as well that's a, this doesn't mean your whole diet needs to be like quote unquote clean healthy foods all the time it could be an 80 20 principle or even better, 90% of the time you eat healthy, 10% of the time you don't eat healthy. So you could just do like seven days a week you eat healthy and on the seventh day you just have a cheat meal or something like this, right? So anyway, as always, you already know the deal. Subscribe to the channel down below if you found some value out of this video, if you found it useful. Comment, let me know your suggestions, do you agree, disagree? And as always, you already know the deal is coming at you right now. Stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.